Well, Wyandotte County is joining Kansas City, Missouri in requiring people to wear face masks in public. The new rule goes into effect in Kansas City, Missouri tomorrow. KCK Wyandotte County announced yesterday it will begin requiring face coverings on Tuesday. KNBC 9's Bianca Beltran has more. Customers can bring their own or buy one in the store, but masks are the price of admission at some shops now. La Placita Market has some free ones for people who forget, but Edgar says some refuse. We had a couple of people who came in and uh, when asked to wear a mask, they literally said, well, uh, I don't use it because of this and that. And we said, well, we cannot let you in because this is a safe space that we uh, we are keeping. And, and they turn around and left. Starting Tuesday, Wyandotte County will require masks in public, indoors and outdoors. The health department issued this order after seeing positive cases of COVID-19 rise. Saturday afternoon, people were out and about, some with masks and some without. It's frustrating, but I know this is what you have to do in order to stay safe and keep your family safe. Tanya says it's uncomfortable, but she wants to do her part. Now that I didn't got the word that I'm going to have to start wearing it in order for me to continue to go out in public and go where I need to go, so be it. I'll put the mask on, okay? It don't have to be nothing fancy. It's just, oh my God. I just, I just, I just pray for this to be over. Eris likes it. No one has to know how she really feels. It's fun. <laughs> it's like angry faces and sad faces. And nobody sees the faces that you're making. Uh -huh. In Kansas City, Kansas, Bianca Beltran, KNBC 9 News. Now, health officials say wearing a mask is not a substitute for social distancing or hand washing. Here's a list of who's exempt from the mandatory face mask rule in Wyandotte County. Those who are deaf or hard of hearing, anyone with a medical or mental health condition or disability that prevents the wearing of face coverings, and children under the age of five. But children under two should never wear a face mask due to risk of suffocation. Two, three, and four-year-olds should have very close supervision. In Kansas City, Missouri, Mayor Quinton Lucas reacted to the mask mandate, tweeting, Props to my brothers and sisters in KCK for taking this important step. I hope all in the metro join in. I'm glad both Kansas cities have adopted this approach. We are keeping an eye on coronavirus cases on both sides of the state line. Missouri reported 347 new cases yesterday. Kansas reported 568 new cases Friday. That was the state's highest jump since officials started reporting cases every other other day. People in one of the hardest hit areas locally by COVID-19 were able to get tested for free yesterday. Kansas Governor Laura Kelly created a mobile testing unit. Yesterday, the van made its first stop at Mercy and Truth Medical Missions. This was in Wyandotte County. Volunteers had enough supplies to test 300 people. People were also able to take home free food and cleaning supplies. Cars were starting to line up out here. Um, about two hours before the testing and the food giveaway was available. The second car, the woman says to me, she goes, I am so grateful that you are testing on a Saturday because I work full time. So that's why we're doing this. We really want to help the community. We want to help everybody get healthier. Volunteers were also on site helping with translating five different languages. Coronavirus cases are spiking in parts of the country, including in Texas, where Vice President Pence is appearing today. The state hit a record high number of new cases yesterday, more than 6,000. Ayexa Diaz is in Washington with what we know so far about the vice president's visit. Vice President Pence is meeting with state officials about the surge in coronavirus cases, but he's also holding an event at a Dallas church. The vice president moving forward with today's appearance called Celebrate Freedom Rally as Texas sees a record number of new cases. The vice president did cancel upcoming campaign events in two other COVID-19 hotspots, Arizona and Florida. He's still traveling to those states this week, but only to meet with officials about the coronavirus crisis, which has gotten worse in areas that seem to be improving. The fact that we're closing uh, our beaches now and we're requiring masks and we're now considering stiffer penalties for businesses that don't comply uh, with the rules are, are, are things that we're hoping are going to help us reverse uh, this horrible trend that we're seeing. And Miami is issuing citations to people who don't wear masks. It starts as a warning and then fines range from 50 to $500. In Washington, I'm Aixa Diaz.
Now, Vice President Pence leads the White House Coronavirus Task Force. While federal health officials are urging Americans to wear a mask, he himself stopped short of asking people to do that. And during the task force briefing on Friday. Well, right now at KNBC.com, you can follow the very latest COVID-19 trends where you live. You can also sign up for our coronavirus newsletter and get updates sent straight to your inbox.